What is up, Zero Game? If you guys have not heard, that's right. As the title says, busting booty cheeks to test for COVID. There are new techniques and they have to bust your booty cheeks wide open to check to see if you are positive for, you know, that C word. I already said the C word, I don't even care. I don't care. I know I've been a little late on the news that people aren't covering, but this is news that no one's covering and I don't know why. Maybe because they're ashamed to tell you how they're busting booty cheeks. They are slapping ass cheeks together, guys. They are spreading cheeks. The bread, they're, they're getting mayo and spreading it on bread. These guys are doing the dirty plumber's work. These guys are looking where the sun doesn't even shine. These guys are checking where the wet spot, the wet spot comes from on a public bus. These guys are going in deep if you get my drift. Hopefully the drift isn't a stinky one, but all joking aside, they really are spreading butt cheeks to check for COVID. My name is Casper Zero Vlogs, and today we're gonna to be discussing exactly how this test works. I have a video on exactly how this test will work. They're already doing it in China to see, apparently it has a 100% accuracy. Some people are saying it has a 90% accuracy. The point is it's gonna be so many times more accurate that you thought putting the thing up your nose was bad. No, they're, they're checking booty holes, all right? Let me be blunt with it. They're spreading your cheek and they're checking booty holes. That's what they're doing. They're doing this to keep you guys safe. Remember that. This is something good. Spreading cheeks is good. Remember, we don't have to do this to kids, women, adults, animals. They don't care. They check it, booty holes, because it's that serious. You gotta check booty holes. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. We're gonna get into this right now, exactly how they examine the booty hole, where they're checking the booty hole, and where they're extracting the booty hole juice and the booty hole DNA. So if you guys look at this video right here, you'll see they have the mannequin with his legs gapped open, okay? The doctor's talking, nobody understands what he's saying, unless you're Chinese, you understand Chinese. If you're, if you're Chinese, please let me know what he's saying. I don't know what this man is saying, but there are reports that they're gonna be doing this in America. And that's the concern about this. That's, that's, that's the main concern. They're like, oh, well, we're in China. Well, let's, let's do this for the Americans. But as you can see, he's now sticking the thing of the booty hole. Remember, that, remember there's gonna be a real person like gonna gap like that. He's like, he's just taking it, guys. Like, he might as well put cuffs on the mannequin because that's what we're gonna have to do to check me for the COVID test. I'm not getting my booty spreaded, okay? That's a virgin back there. I intend to keep it a virgin back there. Now, if you're into that sort of thing, what we do for you, you get a free sex session with your doctor. That's good and dandy, but I don't want to do that, okay? Maybe when I'm 50, I don't have a choice to see if something's going on down there, some, some tumors or something like that's going on down there. I'll, I'll get that done because you have to. But for something like this, I'm not having a random man check my booty hole. And I might add, guys, that this is gonna have to be done at airports. They're gonna have to literally do this like at airports and other places. Like right now, they check for temperature and all that stuff. What they wanna be more efficient with it, what they, what they want to do is bring it down, cut it down so far where it cuts the spread out. Oh, this guy is infected with this, how we're gonna know for a fact. You know, you might have a fever with it. You might have a fever, right? And you can still have COVID. And they're like, well, that means he's spreading it. And that makes sense. Don't get me wrong, that makes sense. But checking the booty hole does not make sense. This is not a good substitute. No one wants their booty hole checked. All right, nobody wants their booty hole checked. Not even hookers want their booty holes checked without getting paid for it. Where is the money? Pay these people if you're gonna be checking booty holes. Come on, guys, you're gonna be busting booty cheeks, spreading buttholes, right? Putting little swabbles in the buttholes and putting those things in the thing. I haven't shown you guys the full video, but you have to see the video. They have to pay people for this. Pay people for the service, okay? This is invading privacy. And I don't mean privacy on your phone where you know you have Facebook and Google spying on you where you say a word and they send you an advertisement. I'm curious for pizza and you get a bunch of Pizza Hut ads, you get a bunch of little Caesar ads, um, you lift something up on your computer and it pops up on your phone. I'm not talking about that type of invading privacy, that's not really bad. I'm talking about spreading cheeks privacy. Do you guys really know what I'm saying? Like the, the actual term for privacy before the internet came about. Your privacy is called a private for a reason because it shouldn't be exposed out in the public to get your booty hole check. That should not be happening, guys, okay? That shouldn't be happening. Like I said, we're into that sort of thing. That's great and dandy, but I, I, I'm even speaking for 
for everyone, all right? It doesn't matter who your, what your sexuality is. It doesn't matter how old you are. Who wants the booty hole check? If you want your booty hole check, put it in the comments below. Because I don't think anybody wants their booty hole check just randomly. And the weirdest thing is that this is deleted on Twitter now, but when I was checking some Twitter comments about this, people were actually like, yeah, this is a good way. I can't wait to get my booty hole checked. It's like, dude, <laughs> you touch your dog's butt. My dog is laying right by me, by the way. But you touch your dog's butt, and your dog's like, hey, don't do that. Don't touch the booty hole. Touch any living organism's booty hole. Doesn't matter if it's a gerbil, doesn't matter if it's a mouse, a cat, a dog, an elephant. Don't touch booty holes. Don't touch the booty hole. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. All right? Nobody wants that. But I'm going to let you guys check out this video and let me know what you guys' thoughts are. I'm going to show the whole video, even him speaking in Chinese. I don't know what he's saying, but here's the video right here. And let me know what you guys think. Are you guys down with this? Do you guys think this is a good idea? Please let me know in the comments below. Don't just watch the video, leave a comment. I, I, I honestly want to know you guys' thoughts on this. Watch this video. had this mannequin with no dignity whatsoever they just totally violated this mannequin dude just straight up spread him open and my dog's like i saw that video they spread this dude open and it was a man they didn't have a female mannequin he had his little mannequin balls and stuff like that literally they had a male mannequin like this is gonna be you it's gonna be you we're gonna spread you we're gonna do it 100 percent success rate like is it come on just think let's make a vaccine right so just make a vaccine. No one wants the booty hole to be played with, man. I know I keep saying that, but nobody wants this. Nobody wants this. This is a terrible idea. Nobody wants this, man. I'm sorry. I think there's going to be a lot of dudes question their sexuality. I'm telling you, there are going to be a lot of dudes that are going to like this. There are going to be a lot of dudes like, oh, you know, want that? You know, too much of tough guys. You know the tough guys. Tough guys that, oh, I'm super heterosexual. I don't play around with nothing, nothing uh, homosexual. You know me. And then they're gonna get the booty hole played with, and they're gonna they're gonna giggle, they're gonna giggle and like it. That's what's gonna happen. I think this is gonna be bad for a lot of dudes because they're they're gonna question their sexuality. You know, like yeah, a lot of dudes is like you know you know guys what I'm talking about those extra extra dudes that's like oh, I'm a manly man, like not actual real men, but like the people that have to emphasize how and how straight they are all the time. You know those guys. There will be a lot of dudes, and they're not going to like it because they're going to like it. But in all seriousness, I don't think this is a good idea, guys. I don't think this is a good idea. Um, that's what's going on right now. Like I said, it's being pretty much passed in China. They're doing tests to make sure it's accurate or something like that. And um, they're going to be bringing it into America. Now, they didn't have an official date on when they're going to bring this to America. But they did, in fact, say that they're going to be doing this in America to have better, more efficient tests. Um, even though there's supposed to be a vaccine. I don't get it. Maybe the vaccine isn't working. I know some people uh, die from the vaccine. Maybe that's what's going on. They're like, well, we're just going to just check booty holes instead. That's more accurate. So maybe this is the alternative. Um, who knows? Maybe I have to take the vaccine up the booty hole. Who knows, right? I don't really know why they're playing with booty holes. There, there are more efficient ways to check the accuracy on people to see if they have it rather than checking booty holes. I don't really get the point of this. I really, really don't. All joking aside, I don't see why they have to do this. There's certain tests that has to be done like this, which makes sense. Not for like cancers and, uh, you know, certain other things. I'm not a doctor, but there are certain things that I know for a fact that you do have to check for this, um, like primarily cancer. But what I don't understand 
is you don't get any like inflammation back there. Um, you don't get any swelling back there, right? You don't sweat extra back there. Even for like a tapeworm, that'll make sense. Um, you know, like even those itch worms, they don't, yeah, that'll make sense. But this doesn't make any sense. There is, there's no swelling. It has flu symptoms, right? So that means that it's all about the throat, the, you know, the, the temperature, the head, um, you know, the chest area makes sense. But the booty hole does not make sense to me. They bust in booty cheeks just for the fun of it, I guess. So I don't want this video to be too long. We're already at the 10 minute mark. So that's gonna be it for the video. I want you guys to tell me what your guys' thoughts on busting booty cheeks with the Ducopa test. Please let me know what you guys' comments are below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment. I'm almost positive I would not be able to run any ads on this. But if you wanna support my work, make sure you guys hit that join button right by the subscribe button. If you're on Android or on the phone, you should see join and subscribe. Make sure you guys hit join. You can support my channel for as low as 99 cent a month. So if you wanna support me, please do. That's gonna wrap it up for this. And make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. And remember, I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. I'll see you guys in the next video. What do you think of that dish?